world. Okay, very good. Okay, so I think it's being recorded. Thank you. Uh, so first off, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for, for joining uh, in to, tonight um, to kind of look at uh, a training uh, about tail twisting. Uh, I guess I'm safe in saying this is the best training we've ever had on tail twisting because I think this is the first time we've ever had training that I'm aware of uh, on tail twisting. So, so what I'm looking at doing is, um, as the first slide indicates, um, it is uh, in part based on a uh, Lines University course 127. Uh, so some of the material uh, that's contained in the presentation is from that. And I did send out, a, I believe, uh, then I sent out a link uh, to that you can go to that course to, to review all of that. Um, so again, want to thank everybody for being here and, and thank everybody for all you do for, for other people. Uh, I'm you know, happy to, to try to help out here. Uh, and uh, let's get started and see how it goes. Uh, there should be ample time for, for questions and comments and protest. Um, so we'll get this going and um, see how things go. So the objectives uh, for this evening, um, basically to give you kind of a brief history of you know, how we got to having tail twisters in, in Lions Club, um, looking at some of the duties uh, as defined uh, by, you know, by Lions Club International and provide you with uh, a number of uh, suggestions, uh, activities uh, that are potential activities for, for uh, tail twisters. Um, and also spend a little bit of time to think, uh, looking at things that probably should look at avoiding uh, and not do as a uh, tail twister. Uh, then there'll be some questions, uh, some answers to, to questions, uh, and then I'll open it up for, for other questions that people have. Uh, I'll try to provide an answer. Uh, might not be a good answer, but it'll be an answer. Okay, so if we look at where the history started from, uh, again, as a lot of things with Lions Club, uh, Melvin Jones um, basically was looking for a way to liven up the meetings. Um, and in discussions, uh, a farmer um, made a suggestion uh, based on his experience with uh, animal uh, management. And he kind of shared uh, that, you know, if you have a cow that isn't going through the gate, uh, you can get somebody to grab onto it and, and twist the tail and that will guide the cow through the gate. Uh, again, I can't say that I've ever done that. I grew up in Baltimore City. I uh, didn't see too many cows. I did see a bunch of horses because I grew up right across from the Pimlico racetrack. But again, I didn't try to grab tails of, of horses. They were much too fast for me. But unfortunately, so they talked about a tail twister based on that twisting the tail of a cow. But the International Board uh, of, of Blinds kind of had a negative reaction. They kind of said, no, that's, you know, we, we don't want that type of low comedy uh, associated with Lions Club. And we really don't, you know, think uh, tail twister or that concept is, is something that, that we should have. And actually they uh, submitted a directive uh, kind of forbidding uh, tail twisters uh, in, in club meetings. A few years later, uh, one of the international presidents uh, Ray Raleigh back in 1929 basically got up at a meeting and basically said he thinks we're taking ourselves too seriously, probably a good point uh, to, to keep in mind for a lot of things, and basically began to look at having the tail twister uh, as part of the clubs and making a decision that clubs will have the tail twister. Again, over time, the name kind of changed. So again, there were different terms and basically you can kind of see that back the fines early on probably were, you know, maybe 10 cents a dime because you had the demon at a dime and things like that. So eventually all the names kind of went by the wayside and tail twister kind of settled in uh, and, you know, that started again to kind of move to kind of provide an a enriching experience at the meetings and kind of liven up uh, the meetings. Okay, so if we look at the three duties uh, of a tail twister, 
uh, primarily to promote harmony, uh, to encourage or produce good fellowship. And then the third is to kind of create an atmosphere where there's enthusiasm. So meetings uh, through appropriate stunts or games uh, and some limited or judicious fining, um, you try to instill these duties. Okay, so again, looking at harmony, taking a look at each one of these duties, harmony, not in the musical sense. Uh, again, those of you who know me, I need a bucket to carry a tune. Uh, so, but we're looking for agreement, uh, concord or fitting together. Okay, so again, concord is actually a, also a musical term, term, but also it kind of means agreement. So again, what we're looking is to try to make all members feel uh, a part of the club um, and something to suggest sometimes uh, some clubs have a, a mystery greeter. So someone that kind of shakes hands of people as they come in, but really doesn't serve the role as a obvious greeter and then kind of look at members who, who didn't, didn't shake hands or were not greeted by that individual. Um, and again, um, you may want to look at, I don't know, in my clubs, people tend to sit together certain groups kind of sit together most of the time. So sometimes not every meeting, but occasionally it probably makes sense to maybe try to do something to assign seats, whether it be a deck of cards and you know all the aces sit together and all the uh, kings sit at another table, jokers must stand in the corner. No, just kidding about that. Uh, but based on that, just kind of switch it up. So not every, you know, you don't have the same groups sitting together all the time. That way that gives members a chance to interact get to know everybody. And again, not every meeting, uh, but again, once in a while, kind of mixing it up a little bit. Okay. Then the other areas that we want to look at is instilling enthusiasm and good fellowship. So again, kind of research has said, you know, what's the main reason we lose members? Um, and the answer that comes to the forefront often is long, boring meetings. And then the next reason is boring long meetings. So again, you know, having a meeting that's not fun, people aren't connecting, um, is problematic. So the tail twister is responsible to help make sure every meeting is interesting and fun. Okay. And by using well chosen and planned activities, you can add some enthusiasm and good fellowship. And both both of those are items that would be contagious in bringing people back. Again, if you go someplace, you have fun, you kind of, you know, laugh a little bit, uh, feel good about, you know, each other, that's going to bring you back. Okay, going to a place where nobody's smiling, nobody's having fun, that's really not some place that, that you'll probably be attracted to go back. Okay, effective meetings really have three Fs. I'm glad it was a four Fs for anybody that was in the military but we've got three Fs. So what are the three uh, factors that start with F uh, that are uh, important to effective meetings? Okay, so, uh, you know, with, with starting with F, I guess we have to watch it. Uh, so here we go, fun, okay? So having fun, which was alluded to before. Fellowship, so again, connecting with each other, being, you know, uh, with people you, you interact with, become friendship with. And then fulfillment, which is kind of connecting, feeling like it's worthwhile. So again, tail twisters probably to an extent involved with the fun and the fellowship and to a lesser degree, but at times we'll kind of look at ways that fulfillment to kind of connect with people. So again, you know, some people might argue that the fourth F for Lions Club is food, but again, that, that was really not included uh, among the, the three Fs of an effective meeting. Okay, other duties um, is to kind of reward or uh, extra effort. So again, if you have lines, members that have gone beyond the normal, done some extra things, uh, have really been ones that you can really count on all the time, you can, as a, a tail twister, you can, you know, single them out a little bit, give them some type of an award. Again, not a big thing, not a car or something like that, but just a small token gift. Again, you'll see throughout the presentation, the dollar store or the Dollar Tree, 
again, for a dollar or two, you can come up with something that, that you know, gives a token of appreciation. Some uh, other things that you can do is that with the fining, you can give somebody a card that would exempt them from being fined that meeting, or you can give them a card that's shown here that would, if they get fined, they can pass it on to somebody else to, to do. So uh, again, you could, you know, have these cards laminated and, and have them, you know, when they're turned in and, you know, reuse those. Recently at a meeting, we had a, a gentleman from my club who, who collects the, the eyeglasses or, or coordinates the collection of eyeglasses. So a lot of you, a lot of clubs do that. So again, at the meeting, I had gone to the dollar store, I had gotten a gla pineapple glasses and presented him with the award, okay? And he was quite taken by it. And in fact, I got a call from him the other night saying, can you send me that photo? My daughter wants to see it. So, you know, again, not a huge outlay of money, but kind of make it fun, recognize and, you know, that that person's doing, you know, something special for the club. Contrary to uh, what people often think about is the, the main job of the Tarot Christers not to collect money, but again, to kind of focus on enthusiasm, good fellowship, and promoting harmony. And again, rewarding special effort. But you can impose some fines, also a duty, but it's in a way to promote harmony and good fellowship. So again, keep that in mind. So again, to kind of reward special effort, we have a, a, a young a woman who is a Linus. Uh, hopefully we're trying to get her to join Lions Club. She has a farm. Half of Stortstown has supplies and equipment in her farm where she stores it. Lions Club has all kinds of uh, our barbecue gra grates are down there, everything. So again, just printed up a certificate and award it to her at, at a meeting. So just, you know, again, that extra recognizing doesn't have to be anything extravagant. Again, you can go to the dollar store, get some frames, print something out on the computer. And, you know, again, it's just recognizing, giving them that special effort. Okay. So some general comments about tail tristers or thoughts about tail tristers. Tail twisting is unique to the person that's doing the task, okay? So again, if you're the tail twister, you have to do what is comfortable for you, okay? Uh, again, be yourself because everybody else is taken. So you need to be yourself. You can't try to be somebody else. So what's good for you, what you're comfortable with is probably going to be most successful, okay? There are some limitations that we look at when we're looking at tail twisting. Um, so again, clubs have traditions. I don't know, you know, Lions Club and traditions. Yeah, I think, you know, many clubs have, have some traditions. So sometimes the parameters, what is set, what is allowed, what has been practiced, sometimes it takes a little effort to, to kind of nudge and, and uh, move things along to try something different. Also, the tail twister themselves, how motivated are them? How enthusiastic are they? Again, you, you want to probably keep that in mind when you're looking at prospective uh, tail twisters is that you probably want somebody um, that, you know, has a sense of humor, someone that is, you know, um, outgoing, um, someone that, you know, is going to probably liven things up. Another factor is time. So again, looking at activities, looking at things that you do. In most cases, you're looking at something that can be done in, in a few minutes, five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. And again, you would want to coordinate with the president uh, to see what the agenda looks like to, to have the time. And you may want to plan activities, one that's a little bit longer, one's a little bit shorter, so that you have kind of a plan B in case time gets away and, and you have to do something that's a little shorter. And another factor is the club. Is the club, you know, a club that is supportive of, of efforts? Are, are they going to be involved? Or are they going to kind of ignore it or, or, or not participate? Uh, and, and again, this is supposed to be fun, building harmony. So again, if there's some club members that, that are not inclined to participate, just use the, the members that, that will participate and, and go from there. So again, it's, it's you know, to, to be fun, to enthusiasm, 
uh, build things in a positive way. Job qualifications, okay? So for Teo Twister, again, as I said, someone who's outgoing has a good sense of humor, can't really define good, but some sense of humor, uh, and not afraid to get in up in front of people, and sometimes, or most of the time, probably making some fool of themselves, okay? We don't want to make fools of other people, but making light of ourselves. And again, as that international president said, don't take yourself so seriously is probably a good uh, theme, a good uh, way to, uh, to approach this, okay? So when we look at different types of activities, there's all kinds of different things and we'll kind of drill down and look at these in a, in a few minutes. So you can have maybe special events, a quiz or a test, a physical skill or physical test, some type of inspection and thankful giving, which is something that I kind of develop and I'll explain that in, in a few minutes. But the key here is variety. So again, if you come to the meeting and you have the same type of activities all the time, that can be problematic, okay? Eating ice cream every day gets boring, right? Well, maybe not, okay? Maybe that was not a good choice there, but you wanna to try to switch activities uh, and, and have something a little bit different. Marty, this is Dennis. Yes. Um, I just wanted to give a pause here. I don't know if people have questions or not, but I have most everybody muted. So if anybody wants to ask questions, you'll need to unmute yourself and, uh, I don't know if you want to take just a pause here before you get into yeah, those uh, activities for questions. Yeah, feel yeah. free. I mean, again, you know, it's only a four hour presentation, so questions won't slow me down at, at all. So <laughs> just yeah. kidding. Yeah, I hope you all are catching uh, uh, Marty's little comments. I mean, they go by pretty quickly, uh, so you have to be pretty, uh, pretty sharp here, you know, to pick, pick up on his humor. Yeah, it's yeah, it's questionable humor at best. A any questions that we have? I, I get paid by the question, so so far I'm kind of in the hole. So again, just kidding. No compensation, only the secretary. Okay, and not the cabinet secretary. I don't know what's up with that, but okay. So uh, when it comes to fine collection, um, again, each club is supposed to vote every year uh, based on the constitution to kind of determine what the maximum fine is. So again, in my club. Um, the fine has only been a dollar for the last 85 years. Just kidding. You know, we, we've, you know, it's been a dollar for quite some time. Um, but again, we're not looking at raising huge sums of money. It's just something uh, to, to have some fun with uh, and make it interesting. So again, we don't look for hard feelings. We don't want arguments about people paying fines. We don't, you know, if somebody says, I don't have any money, I, I don't have any, you know, it, just let it go. It's not, it's not worth it. Again, I've seen in many times in my club where somebody might have not have a doll, somebody else puts a five in. Again, that's, that's fine. It's not, you know, it's not an issue. We're not keeping track of, of things and having a card that we, we mark on people. So again, it's about harmony, enthusiasm, fun, not so focused on collecting money. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. What I did, and again, this is just a suggestion, um, I went to the dollar store, again, my favorite place. I don't have stock in dollar store, but I bought a little uh, a box of Kleenex, one of those cube type things. I covered the outside and I put, you know, roll again, a dollar coin, uh, a picture of a dollar, uh, a 50 cent piece. So again, most of the time, the, uh, the activities, a club does it as a, the club is divided up by tables. A table does an activity, somebody from the table rolls this dice or die uh, and whatever it comes up with um, is, you know, what the fine is. So it gives them a little bit of control, although the majority of the fines are a dollar, which again is what our club has, has agreed to. Of course, I've been accused of having a loaded dice, uh, a loaded die, uh, and I told them, no, the Kleenex was not used, the dice was not loaded. You know, it's just, you know, the luck of the, the roll. And sometimes people come up with, you know, 50 cents or something like that. So again, not about the money, but again, this just makes it, you know, adds another step of fun uh, to that. Okay, so please feed the line. A well-fed line is a happy line. Uh, our club, I think many clubs have a line 
that you put the money in. We have a bell to, to ring to uh, alert people. So this is kind of a, a paid commercial here, a commercial break um, for, you know, tail twisters. Um, okay, any questions yet? Everybody's so confused that, you know, it doesn't, no, no questions. Any questions, any protest, any answers? Okay, I'll, I'll move along. Okay, so looking at the different types of activities, uh, first one that we'll look, look at is special event. So you can have a, a silly hat contest and then rate it on the silliest or, or hat contest, the line related hat, a prettiest hat, the creativeness of a hat, something like that, an ugly sweater contest. Again, these are kind of self-explanatory. Uh, but you can kind of do that and have, you know, people pay an entry fee to participate or entry, you know, not to participate. Uh, and then maybe again, have some prizes from the dollar store or, or something uh, to award to, to the winners that, you know, that some of the members vote on. Okay. Again, for a birthday, again, you could look at, you know, people paying, um, you know, a penny a year. So again, for most of the Lions Club, you're looking at, you know, 70, 80, uh, 90 cents, something like that. Uh, again, just something, uh, or you can, you know, ask them to round up to, to a dollar or something like that. So again, just something, you know, doesn't take a lot of, uh, of effort, but something again, variety. So a special event could be one option. Um, we can also look at quizzes or tests. And again, I'm not looking at, you know, stumping uh, the club and making people feel uh, that they don't know anything. But with the internet nowadays, there's an endless um, information that's out there for history, for subjects, brain teasers, what would you rather do type questions, which we'll look at in, in a few minutes. Um, and again, you can also teach or test some line facts so again, in that process, you can do something to educate new members or in many cases, maybe remind um, older members about some of the factors in, in about lines, okay? So the second line here, please remember when completing evaluation, to be careful with my criticism, liberal with my praise and to build up and not destroy. Anybody know where that comes from? Okay, everybody's fine. That comes from our code of ethics from Lions Club, okay? So again, we can interject things in there to kind of help people. And again, I'm just kidding. I'm not finding anybody, okay? And again, as I said, in my club, people sit at a table, Thank so you. working together, you know, on the, on the test, on the quiz um, is something that kind of builds that fellowship, builds that connection. Uh, builds that interaction. And again, that's helpful if you switch up the seating every once in a while, so people are going to get to know people um, a little bit better, which is, it, it helps. Okay, so everybody ready to go. I, I think we have a very esteemed smart group here. So look, start off here with some, some brain teasers, uh, which again, you can kind of get from, from the internet. Uh, some of these are, are ones that I have for years that I've used with Boy Scouts, with my class that I teach, uh, different things like that. So again, a brain teaser, and you all have the answers here. So I'm just going to run through this to kind of give you an example uh, of, you know, what we're looking at, brain teasers. And again, this is something that can be done, presented to the club, and done in a matter of a few minutes. So the instructions calls out six letters above line. Remaining letters form an English word. Use these three things to make nine. Create a computer password with six characters and one capital. And looking at this number, how is this number special? Okay. So I'm not, you know, so in the thing, we would take, give time for people to, to respond and, uh, and then we could give them the answers, tell them the answers. So again, with the brain teasers, cross out six letters, well, maybe that wasn't what you really thought when it said six letters, but crossing out six letters, you end up with banana, okay? And actually you can bear, you know, you can play with that so you could end up spelling out lines or lines club or whatever, okay? 
the three lines, you can use a Roman numeral, so it makes nine. So again, finally, that fifth grade math finally pays off, okay? And then this is just kind of a, a humorous thing about a, a, a password, characters. So I picked Disney characters and a capital Harrisburg, okay? So not exactly what you thought, but again, my sense of humor coming through or not coming through probably. And the numbers there, uh, the reality was that list of numbers was in alphabetical order, which again, is not often what we're looking at when we look at numbers. So for this, again, part of the intent here that you can kind of share with your club when you do brain teasers like this is that you're kind of looking at a slightly different way, looking at it a slightly different perspective, um, which again, I think is, you know, to bring people's creativity, maybe have some fun, have some enthusiasm. But again, when we're looking and even, even more so nowadays, you know, be creative. Looking at things a little bit differently uh, may make sense moving forward uh, with our clubs so that we come up with something uh, in a positive way, okay? So I, again, it's not to stump people, it's just to have some fun. So a couple more of these, uh, I use this in my class. Uh, I teach an adolescent psychology class. So when we come to intelligence, because I don't really know anything about that, I kind of, you know, pull on some of these analogies and situations. So again, this is one where it's kind of analogy. And then this is a, a situational uh, type thing to get people thinking. And again, we'll just go to the answers. So again, Prince Tun, Dartmouth, they're both Ivy League colleges. So again, kind of a different connection there that you might not see initially. And then with the uh, wheel, you can take one lug from the other three and secure it, okay? Again, I wouldn't drive 85 miles an hour on 83 or the, the interstate, but but again, that would be uh, Okay, any questions? Any comments? I have a question, I have a question. Hey, Debbie, you have a question. Yes, go well, right ahead. I'm gonna find you because going back to your alphabetical numbers. Uh-oh, did I screw up? I think that five comes before four. Doesn't it? F I F O. Doesn't F I come before F O? Yeah, it should. Did I have it out of order? Uh huh. Okay. I, that was a test just to see if you were paying attention. I, I thought it was, and I wanted to answer so that you yeah, wouldn't so think you were paying attention. The check, the check will be in the mail, Debbie. Okay. <laughs> but there, there actually will be. I was going to give a car away, but I oh. couldn't come up with the. Uh, with the uh, small chance license. But Darn. for some of you who have, who have come to some of the GAT meetings or some of the meetings that uh, recently I've been giving, making blueberry coffee. So I do have a, a bag of blueberry coffee that I will have a drawing at some point and connect with people to, to see if they want blueberry coffee, I'll uh, send it to you or give it to you at, at some, some meeting. So, you know, all of you will be in the running, but I might come up with a special prize for for you, Debbie, for, for paying attention, okay? I just wanted you to know we were paying attention. I'm glad. I'm glad somebody is. I think I think everybody else is asleep, but you know, they're, not, they're, they're, they're muted, so I can't hear them, you know, snoring, which is helpful. So if you hear me snoring, please, you know, wake me up too. Okay, thank you. Okay, then kind of switching to a, like a quiz uh, or trivia. Uh, so again, you can go to the, the links there and you can come up with a, uh, a quiz for a month. Uh, we shared this at, at our club recently, you know, being May, uh, we asked questions about the month of May, okay? And again, with this, you can choose to give some hints. Again, we're not trying to stump or make people feel, you know, ignorant or, or not informed, but just to have some fun, okay? And again, I usually try to tell people, you know, please don't Google it and things like that. Just, you know, use your, your knowledge and, and, and do the best you can. And again, most of the time I try to do some, some um, hints. So again, number four, um, you know, I give the hint, think of lines in general before 1987. So again, that word means older men. Okay, so again, you kind of, you have to understand my sense of humor to, to get the hints. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm giving hints to try to assist you, okay? And if anybody finds uh, another, uh, you know, 
planet uh, mistake in the presentation, let me know because I think there's probably you know four or five other ones in there that I put in purposely to, to make sure people were attending uh, the, the pre presentation. No, really, if there's mistakes, it's, it's ones I made. You know, I do have somebody's last four of your social security numbers here. Okay, so this is uh, something that uh, a tail twister after myself uh, did, which was what you rather questions. Okay, so again, you would have a series of these. You could get these from the internet. You do need to screen them because some of them might be questionable or some of them might be uh, offensive or upsetting to people based on their life experiences. So again, you wanna look at the ones that are, are kind of, you know, somewhat humorous or, or somewhat straightforward. So again, it's you, you ask the person to play, they pay a dollar. If they don't wanna play, you know, they pay a dollar. Uh, and then you just go around the room and you ask them questions, you know, would you rather read aloud every word uh, you, you read or would you sing everything out aloud? So people would say one or the other. And it kind of just gives you uh, an opportunity to get to know people in, in the way they think. Uh, so again, just something to, you know, something different, uh, something that, you know, can be done uh, in a positive way. Uh, again, I'm not sure about number eight, about edible spaghetti hair or sweating maple syrup, but you know, I didn't make these up, honestly. I don't, I don't have that much creativity, okay. So again, just an example of something else that, that can be done to interact uh, at your meeting and, and have some fun, okay. Then I've uh, used a, a quiz before, um, again, what I alluded to before, to try to uh, instruct or, or teach um, members about information about Lions Clubs or, or Lions, uh, you know, international or whatever. So again, uh, you can, you know, put something like this together. Um, and again, you provide hints to, you know, instill some teamwork and things like that. So again, like number three, you know, the answer is C, 26. Do you know your ABC? So that's the hint to kind of tell you, well, there's 26 letters in the alphabet. So that, that's the hint I gave. So again, some of my hints may or may not be on target. Um, but again, it's there to, again, just to have fun, to help people along and don't feel you know, stressed out about it, okay? So like number two, something I don't really have is intelligence, okay? So again, this is you know, something that you use um, to kind of instruct people, but have fun and let them learn something about, about Lions Club. You know? um, it, it's, you know, it serves on multiple purposes. Okay, uh, on the internet, again, there's sites that you can go to. Uh, a lot of people like these hidden word games uh, where you can construct it like I did here and you can put in, you know, whatever you, you want. This particular one has uh, like a box down the middle that then creates yet a, a special uh, word that you came up, come up with. And again, I did this uh, with words that were uh, related to lines or lines club, okay. And a variation of it is, is a more traditional um, hidden word type thing. And again, you can put whatever words you want in there. Again, you know, I could mix it up by spelling things wrong, maybe taking a modification on a board member with a board member uh, and things like that, just to, again, make it fun. And again, uh, with these, they go in all directions. So it does take a little uh, focus, a little attention. Um, and here's, you know, here's the answers here uh, to show that they were really in there. Uh, but again, they're kind of going all kind of directions. So again, doing this as a team, team effort or something like that, again, it's only going to take a few minutes. And I think most people have fun. Uh, I've done it sometimes where I actually have the names of the club members in there and everybody likes to find their own name, um, you know, and, and see themselves, you know, on, on paper printed or something. So again, it's just something to kind of help people along, okay? And this, this is a variation of deck of cards that you can pick, uh, all kinds of different types of ways that you can do it. Have the, you know, people make a donation, buy a card uh, and they get a card. And then from the second deck, you draw ones that, that are winners or you have variations, uh, you know, using the cards to be the fine. So, you know, a six is 60 cents, a face card is 10. A jack is drawn. You, the person, the male to the to the right pays. The queen, the next female pays. 
the king, the president pays. Uh, if a joker is made, you know, the tail twister pays. And they suggest, you know, just taking out, just have one joker in there, you know. But but again, it's, you know, it's all in fun. It's all a support line. So it doesn't really matter. So again, just a variation, something relatively simple, not a whole lot of preparation uh, and something that, that can be done. Okay, this next one, I know this slide is uh, very busy, but again, basically this is kind of a variation on a theme of having little jars where you have different um, contents inside. So you can have all kinds of white powder, you know, salt, flowers, baking soda, baking powder, sugar, all kinds of stuff that looking at it, you know, it's all white, it's all uh, different items, but you have the, the little jars or little containers sealed. People look through it and try to guess and you kind of have a list of those. And then again, you grade that and see you know, which team gets the most correct or whatever. A variation of that, you could put cotton balls in with different fragrances on, and that on those, you would open it up and smell it, and then people, you know, again, would try to identify those. Or a third variation of that would be actually have little things in the, in the jar, so like jelly beans or, or Tic Tacs or, or gumdrops or, or some other type, peanuts, something, and then people guess it. <laughs> one that gets it the correct actually wins that that jar with with the contents. And again, this is you know you would have an entry fee uh, to participate uh, to take part in and you know go from there. So again, just something different, um, you know, different variation, something some variety of uh, of an activity. Okay, and then again going just to, to a dice, you can have them roll a dice uh, after they've, you know, paid to participate. And then you have, you know, the highest and the lowest uh, win little prizes, uh, things like that. So, you know, something relatively simple that, that can be done pretty quickly. Uh, and, you know, only takes a, a matter of a few seconds. You can have, you know, multiple sets of dice so that, you know, people can do it um, pretty quickly. Um, and again, these are items that, you know, most of us have uh, around the house. Okay, this one would be a little bit more involved, but again, uh, many clubs do have, you know, projectors now. Uh, LCD projectors are, are relatively inexpensive nowadays. Uh, if you have that, you know, collect, take something, the historian of the club, have some pictures, you can just do focus in on the eyes or just the hair or whatever and, and have people try to guess um, that, okay? And again, variations, uh, you know, uh, of projects, camps, things like that to kind of, um, again, just do some different activity. Um, okay, and this is uh, the left, um, right and over. Uh, some of you probably have seen this, uh, maybe seen it done in a class or a different club or something like this. But basically, this again, you would have people who wanted to participate, make that contribution, and you'd have some some gift that you wrap up in in a box, something that's you know not breakable, uh, and you just kind of give it to one line, and then you read the story, and basically based on the directions of the story, when the word right comes up, it's passed to the right; when it's left, you pass it to the left. If you say over, it goes, you know, across or to the next table, something like that. So basically, in the reading, in the course of reading that story, the, the, the prize makes its way around. And then, you know, at the end of the story, whoever has that box, you know, wins. Okay. So again, just a variation where somebody goes away, you know, with, with a small token type gift, um, you know, things like that. So again, it, you know, doesn't have to be anything really complex, uh, but again, a different type of activity uh, where people are going away with, with something. Okay, any any comments? Deb, have I screwed, screwed up uh, again yet or, or not? Not yet? Okay, look, look harder. Oh no, just kidding, just kidding. Okay, uh, this is a game board, so it's kind of a variation again. You have go around the room and you, you give little post-it notes with numbers on to, to the various lines, and then you have people roll a dice, um, multiple people roll dice, and basically the dice that come up, you would move 
you would move the uh, the square okay. along up this way till they get to the finish line, and then those lines that have that number that comes through first win, you know, some type of prize. So again, kind of a you know, just a, a variation of some type of activity, some type of game uh, that can be fun. Uh, and again, not real complex, not real difficult, um, but something different that, that people can enjoy. Okay. Then moving into the, the skills or the physical skills, again, putting a golf ball, a small modified uh, cornhole toss or ring toss, um, I ended up going to the dollar store and got, got some, actually they were rings that were actually probably put, to put flowers in, but I had a little pylons for my son and grandson's soccer thing. And I had people try to ring the, the pylon, you know, and the, the, the team that run, uh, circled it the most, you know, won. Uh, fishing tournament, I'll, I'll explain each one of these a, a little bit more detail. Uh, so we'll take a look at these. So again, you know, using a golf ball, you can use various clubs. You can use toy type clubs. You can use a croquet mallet, a cane, uh, a field hockey stick. Again, using a plastic golf ball makes it a little bit more difficult, uh, but again, less uh, chance of damages or, or injuries. Uh, but again, just to, you know, the, the team that scores the most in the cup or in the, in the box that you have them uh, put it into you know, wins and, and isn't fine, the other teams are fine. Again, just something to, to mix it up. Again, this is based on where you meet. If you have the space, our club meets at multiple churches. Sometimes they're le less crowded. They, you know, are convenient to do something like this, sometimes not. So you have to kind of plan ahead where you're going to be meeting. And is this something that's plausible? Okay. Again, going to the dollar store or whatever, you can get these little nets here. Uh, and then just, you know, toss items to people and have them catch it. Um, and again, you know, the team that catches the most items, you know, isn't fine, uh, things like that. So different variations of this, you can have them, you know, making a paper airplane and try to fly an airplane into a hat, those type of things. Uh, again, just some variation. Uh, again, just to have fun, get people up a little bit, moving a little bit uh, and interacting. And as you see, I have some items there that actually you really can't catch because it's going to fall right through the net, you know, so. Uh, fishing tournament, uh, I've actually done this. Um, it's not really complex. Go to the uh, computer, print out some fish or some other items like an old shoe, a can, uh, a mess of uh, fishing line. And what you do is you kind of have a box that you kind of hold up above eye level. And then you have a fishing line, which is kind of a string with a magnet on it. So you cut out these items and you put paper clips around that so the magnet would catch it or pick it up. So again, for the fish and things like that, you may only have one tiny paper clip for some of the other shoes and things like that. You might have multiple uh, things on. And there's my phone. This Disregard my phone. I'm just gonna hang up. Sorry about that. I'll, I'll find myself. Um, so basically, uh, the way that works is that, you know, they each member of the team comes up and tries to, to catch a fish. You can have different fines based on the catching a fish, not catching a fish. And again, you can probably fine everybody by saying, do you have your fishing license? Which probably, you know, people probably don't normally bring their fishing license to a Lions Club meeting. So again, just a fun, a different variation uh, of, of an activity that can be, you know, put together uh, pretty quickly. Okay, uh, bowling pins, again, you can pick up this, you know, the dollar store, dollar general for a few dollars, you may even have it around the house. I mean, I know with my kids and my grandkids, we've had had these type things, and you can do different variations of, you know, knocking over the most pins or knocking over the blue pins or the red pins, uh, things like that, and kind of just switch it up to kind of have a physical activity again. And again, based on the space that you have and, and the facilities, this is something that you may be able to do, uh, maybe not. Okay, an inspection, kind of switch, switching gears here. So again, traditionally, often people would have some lines club where if you had a name tag or your membership card, you know, would be fine. But again, you can kind of switch that out you know, different color, pick a, you know, random color. If people have a certain color 
they don't get fined. They get fined a certain type of footwear. Uh, if you have a library card, a comb, a knife, chewing gum. Um, my club usually meets on Tuesdays, which is usually election day. So often if you have the I voted sticker, then you don't get fined. So again, just some variation, a different type of activity uh, just to kind of switch it up, you know, away from the, the quizzes and the, the physical activities. This is just kind of going around. You don't really need a white glove. It's not really a white glove inspection, but you know, being in the military briefly, you know, I, I just throw that in there about the white glove inspection. Okay, thankful giving uh, is something that I came up with. Other people might have have this in place. I, I'm not aware of of it, but basically in the the month of November, uh, basically I just kind of pose the the thought to the lines that, you know, just passing around the line and, and saying, you know, make a donation uh, based on what you're thankful for, okay? And again, I know that goes counter to just going around and collecting money, but I think, you know, in Thanksgiving, uh, you know, Thanksgiving in November is just a time to, to be thankful for all what we have. Uh, for most of us, you know, we have, have you know, been blessed. So again, uh, in many cases, this, the times I did this, it kind of resulted in, in, in large contributions uh, from the club. So something that that's, you know, you can do, you know, I did it around November and Thanksgiving, but it could be done other times um, if you wanted to. Um, adding fun, uh, I don't know if every club has a 50-50. Our club usually has a 50-50 uh, drawing. Um, what I've done over the years is just add it a little fun to that. So by getting five additional grab bags, um, you know, so when I, we run out of the uh, monetary uh, winnings, we kind of go to this uh, where people have an opportunity to, to win a bag. And again, the bag is not filled with, you know, great prizes, but again, going to the dollar store for five bucks, you can usually buy different items of crackers, popcorn, cookies, candy bars, things like that, where for five hours, you can get five different things, put them all in the bags. And, you know, again, there's five more people that, that leave the meeting with, with a little, little prize or, or a little acknowledgement. So again, not a huge outlay of cash, but again, just something to, to liven up um, and, and, you know, add to the fun uh, of the meeting. Uh, again, you know, just a thought, Again, everything that I'm offering to, today is just to kind of make you think. Uh, and again, it's what works for you. It may not work for you. So again, do things that, that work for you. And in many cases, many of you probably are looking at some of this stuff and saying, hey, you know, I'm already doing all this stuff. And that's great. That's part of training sometimes is that part of training maybe not so much learning something new as much as sometimes just validating or acknowledging that what you're doing is, you know, is on track, makes sense. So, so again, just offering this as, you know, potential suggestions. Okay, things to avoid, okay? So again, if we think back, purpose, you know, enthusiasm, fun, fellowship, harmony. So you wanna avoid anything that kind of runs counter to that purpose, okay? Some tail twisting activities that were done in the past really are not appropriate uh, now. Um, so again, um, you want to try things that that support and, and help people uh, and be you know harmony, fun, um, and not negative uh, in any way. Turn that off. What he? Okay, is is, is that uh, the dogs having a comment? I've gone to the dogs. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so things to avoid, the four Ds kind of reminds me of my report card, um, but the four Ds, things that are dangerous, okay? We want to avoid anything that puts anybody at risk, okay? So we don't want to probably be having people standing up on chairs or tables or things like that. Um, we don't want things that are destructive so that, you know, where you're destroying somebody's property. Again, there used to be a thing where people would cut ties you know, and things like that, which, you know, again, uh, ties are quite expensive. I used to, when I was still working, I'd come to the meeting and I, I would have a tie on. And, you know, again, 
no, you know, I don't want my tie cut, uh, you know, and I don't think many people would want their tie cut. So something to kind of avoid destruction. And again, this can be destructive either on a physical way or on a mental or emotional way too. So again, you want to avoid not making somebody feel silly or, or you know, making fun of them. Obviously, uh, it's not something a, a tail twister wants to do. Uh, and degrading. So again, you don't want to do anything that would embarrass somebody or make them feel that they're stupid. Um, you know, so again, you're not, you know, making somebody wear a dunce hat or wearing a bib when they eat and things like that. And the last D is uh, divisive. So again, you don't, you want to build harmony. So you don't want any activity that's going to separate uh, or, or, you know, you want things that bring people together, not drive people apart. So again, kind of overall revisiting that, things to avoid, any controversial comments or activities, uh, things that are in poor taste. Again, the, 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 the manual talks about, you know, if it's some type of joke, uh, you know, would you tell that joke to your grandmother? Of course, you have to really look at, you know, who your grandmother is, I guess, to, to, to look at that. But again, you don't want to do anything that's off color, anything. If there's any doubt, if there's any questions about things, then the best thing is to, to just skip it and, and not do that. Uh, so again, avoid, you know, talking about political comments, religion, um, those type of activities. All right, there's really no place uh, in lines uh, for that. Um, so again, poor taste, just going around collecting money, saying, you know, pay up, pay up, pay. That's not, you know, what it's about. And again, as I said before, again, if somebody is, is not participating or you can kind of tell you might have some members that just are not buying into this, uh, then you just ignore them, just go to the next person and not make a big thing uh, about fine collection. So again, you don't want to get into arguments about people. You don't want to create something that's going to undermine that harmony, that fun, that enthusiasm uh, that you would have, um, you know, that you're trying to build up. So again, kindness matters, okay? And again, the, the Lions Club, uh, the Lions University course, the past district governor, you know, indicates that there's some things that used to be traditional tail twister activities that just, you know, nowadays have, have no place uh, or no uh, part of, of Lions Club. So be creative. Again, switch it up, rotate the types of activities. Don't make it predictable. Be a surprise, make it fresh. Um, again, you know, if you come to a meeting and you have the same speaker every meeting and they talk, talk about the same type of stuff every time, then that's really not enjoyable. It's not interesting. It's not fun. Of course, with me, my memory is not so good so that, you know, if they did that, I probably would say, hey, I've never heard this before. But again, that's that's just me. So again, you know, nobody likes eating ice cream for every meal, okay? Well, probably that's not a good example, but again, trying to, you know, have some variety, switch it up a little bit, do something different, have plan B in case that sometimes you might have an activity that you're planning to do, but then when you get to the, uh, the, the site, when you get to the uh, place of the meeting, something, you know, advises that you just can't do that, where the president comes up and says, hey, we've got an extra uh, special guest tonight, uh, a special speaker, so we don't have a lot of time. So, you know, can you just have an activity? It's only going to take a few minutes and, you know, you have to switch. So it's always good to have kind of a plan B or even maybe a plan C uh, to have something as a backup. I would suggest, um, you know, with tail twisters, you know, sometimes things happen where the tail twister um, isn't able to make it to the meeting. So sometimes it probably doesn't hurt to have something in your, with the lion tamer, that you maybe have a packet or something that the tail twister has prepared to be used in, in case they're not there at that meeting. So kind of a backup plan just to, to be implemented. So that could, you know, again, be a quiz or test or some, you know, relatively simple thing uh, to kind of be there because again, Occasionally, um, there may be last minute uh, situations where the tail twister can't come to the meeting uh, and nobody has anything. 
And again, you want to have that element of fun, uh, enthusiasm, um, you know, to do something to, to kind of liven up or make the meeting interesting. So again, we're just, just offer that to you. Okay. So any questions that you were afraid to ask or, or maybe you were muted um, and, and were asking questions, but, but I didn't hear you. I do have uh, a couple questions that are kind of standard. Um, so again, think of, think of the questions you have. I'm gonna go through three or four questions that normally come up and address those. And then I'll give you uh, an opportunity to, to ask any questions uh, that you have, okay? And then Debbie can also point it out point out the other 10 mistakes that was in this presentation, which wouldn't be 10 because I'm kind of odd. So I think it was nine. Okay. So should a tail twister interrupt during a speech? No. Okay. No. no. Don't, don't, don't interrupt. Okay. You do your activity and then you're kind of in the background and then, you know, you're not interrupting uh, a speech. Can guests be fine? So, no, no. So again, let me go back here. Oops. So non lines, no. Any guest in the in the thing can't be fine. If you have lines visiting from another club, again, you know you can judge that. You can see, you know, are they ready? Are they participating? You could find them, or you could, you know, kind of say no. Just let it, you know let it slide. So again, you can kind of judge that. Occasionally we have individuals uh, from neighboring clubs or uh, neighboring states sometimes that come to, to a meeting. And again, we want to welcome them. We want to make them happy. But again, if they want to, you know, participate in the activity and, and pay a fine, that, that's fine. But again, I wouldn't press it um, and make a big thing of it. Uh, can the tail twister be fined? Yes. Yes, but only by a unanimous vote of all lines and present, all lines present. Again, when I was tail trister, occasionally I would agree uh, to be fined. Uh, and often I would put something in the line anyway, just to, you know, again, just model a, a positive behavior um, and not, you know, again, not make a big thing of it. Um, and, wow. and not, you know, uh, not, you know, just Again, it's just a, a couple extra dollars for the, the club. So again, that kind of builds harmony, that fellowship, that you know everybody's kind of working together. When when is the best time to do the activity? So really, it's planning and being flexible. So again, you know you can check with your president. You can look at the agenda, uh, depending how you know what makes sense. Usually, most of our meetings. Or, or we have a meal. So usually it's, you know, towards the end when people are kind of finishing up uh, their dessert or whatever, then, you know, the tail twister can kind of do the, do the activity. But again, it's, it's based on what makes sense uh, for you, uh, for your club. And the key there is being flexible. And again, as I said before, maybe having a couple of different options. So depending on how the meeting's going, uh, you know, you know, a shorter activity, or, or uh, time for a longer activity. Okay, so other questions. And I'm just, just, just don't pay any attention to that Mark Train comment. It's just, you know, I'm just kidding. I'm just, again, maybe you begin to know my sense of humor is, is kind of out there on the ledge. Uh, but any questions that anybody have? And then, you know, the photograph of the guy with the mustache, that's, that's Keith and my uh, new hero. Uh, again, I don't think I'll ever have a mustache that looks exactly like that. But uh, again, it's kind of a, you know, interesting. But any questions anybody have about anything that I, I covered? Um, any comments, protests, questions? Um, again, I'd be more than willing to, you know, try to assist people, talk with people about it um, um, and, and go from there. But let me open it up. Any questions from anyone? Any answers from anybody? Great job, you did a Marty. Good job. <laughs> oh, I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm having trouble hearing. I, could you repeat that again? And, and Great job, Marty. Oh, Great okay. job. I'm just kidding there. I'm just kidding there. Okay. So again, I appreciate it. Um, so how did we do? So 
Good. Did we Good cover a brief history? Yeah, I think we did. Hopefully it was brief enough. Did we explore the duties? I think we did, mm -hmm. hopefully. Activity suggestions, again, you know, this is not exhaustive, but, but again, kind of giving you a variety of different approaches, different things that you can do. And again, if you're a tail twister, you have to do what you're comfortable with, okay? As I said before, I can't sing, I can't do anything musically. Again, if you have a tail twister who's musically inclined, well, they can, you know, they can use that as an activity some way. Uh, but again, you have to do what, what is comfortable. If it's something you're not comfortable with, normally it's probably not gonna come off successfully because you're gonna be anxious or you're too much energy focusing in on something that you're not comfortable with. And there's so many activities there that, that are relatively easy that you know you probably can do. And then we did cover things that, that we want to, to avoid. Again, we wanna build harmony, fellowship, fun, uh, enthusiasm. So again, we wanna do things that are, that are positive. Okay, and again, as I said before, I do get paid by the question. Um, so uh, again, I'm, you know, I'm in trouble, but again, I'm just kidding on that. So again, I want to thank everybody. I'll give people, you know, a moment if, if you, you know, have some other questions that you want to, but I want to thank you for being here. Again, thank you um, very much for all that you do for lines. Um, and again, leave you with a quote here that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted, okay? So again, uh, I thank you all for, for spending some time here. Um, and, and I hope that, you know, something that I said or presented uh, was helpful. Again, Dennis sent out the slides and also the, the, the links there. Uh, so again, that's not an exhaustive link, uh, list of links for this type of stuff, but on the internet, there's all kinds of stuff that's out there that can be helpful. Uh, even in, you know, I've seen things with, with Lions Club um, that, you know, different clubs have different activities. And again, I think it's something that you have to look at and again, you know, find something that you're comfortable with um, that, that is fun. Um, and again, I would say variety is, is the key. I won't bring up the thing about eating ice cream anymore. Okay, I'll let that one go. Okay, any, any other comments? Any, any other questions? Um, if not, um, I'm gonna, you know, probably turn it over to, um, turn it, stop my share here, um, and turn it back over to, to Dennis, um, and and let him uh, finish up. So again, thank you very much. Appreciate your uh, attention here. I do have another. I'll put another plug in. Um, in a few more weeks, I'm doing uh, another. Um, presentation about moving forward. Um, uh, so again, it's it's not going to be humorous. Uh, but again, hopefully, it's kind of taking a look at, you know, where we can use this opportunity now to, to see, you know, wh where we want to go, where we want to end up um, in the future, you know, based on, uh, you know, the last year and a half that we had, and, and you know, take, take a look at, you know, how the clubs have been impacted and where we want to go. So, um, you know, we'll go from there. Okay. Any, again, I want to, don't want to belittle any, any other questions, any comments? I basically did. I think you read. Okay. Marty, I'm, going to stop my, I'm going to stop my share and give it back to Dennis. Okay. Marty, I see you have your list of seminars there. Could you just next week's seminar, I'm, I'm drawing a blank as to what okay. that is. Membership orient orientation seminar with uh, oh, yes. Lisa Griffey, okay? Yeah. Uh, so if you have... News, yeah, the bad news is I probably am going to attend that, but I'm not presenting, so it's, it'll be good, okay? Uh, but that's at 7 o'clock again, Thursday, June the 3rd, and then I'm coming back again Thursday, June the 10th uh, on Lions Club moving forward uh, post-COVID. Um, so again, membership um, next week, uh, membership orientation. And again, that I would say that's not exclusively for new members. It's really for, for everybody uh, because again, we, we all, that's uh, something that we all need to focus on uh, of orientating members or looking at members and, and membership you know, is, is a key element. Uh, it's yes. gonna be one of our district goals for, for next year. It's always been, you know, membership is always something that we need to focus on. 
Okay. Anything else? Right. Anybody? I'm going to stop my share here. I, I, was okay. never good at, I was never good at sharing anyway. I'm surprised I shared this this long. <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I do encourage you to, especially your new members, to tune in next week. You know, contact them. I'll probably be doing a, uh, a search of members who have joined in the last maybe even two years and sending special invitation to them to join. But I, you know, it's going to be better if, if, if it comes from you folks uh, or from the new member sponsor, if they both join in, that would be great. So Marty, we thank you for the time okay. and effort you and, put and, into that. And I will have a drawing for this blueberry coffee. It's, it's not been open. I don't know how many coffee drinkers are out there, but, but I think Dennis can attest to it's, it's pretty good coffee, I think. Uh, it's good stuff. Yes, it is. That's a crazy guy. Yeah. Thank you. Crazy guy. Thank you. Okay. Good night, all. Okay. Thank Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Good night, all. I went to tell you that.